Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do basic color grading using Movie Edit Pro 2022. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip which I downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description so you can download that same video clip. Let's go ahead and open up Movie Edit Pro 2022. I'm going to go to File, New Project. I'm going to create a new project and I'm just going to click don't save so we've got a brand new fresh project here and I'm going to drag this video clip onto the first timeline I'm going to drag it onto the second timeline here right so there's two elements you need to click on the timeline tool here and we've got two layers here so it's on the top and the bottom now move edit pro the bottom layer is actually the most top layer so it works kind of in opposite direction this is actually the top layer and this is the one that's sitting below it so we'll click on the bottom one down here we're going to scrub through the video clip. You can scrub to a point where you think uh, is a good place to do color correction. So somewhere around here, I think will be pretty good. So we're going to do some basic color correction by going to effects and then click on brightness. When we click on brightness, you've got a couple of different options in here. You can click auto exposure. And the reason why we've got two layers here is you can click on this M to switch off the, the video track, right? So you can switch it on and off. And basically when you turn it off, you're seeing the top layer. So you can see what it originally looked like. And when you turn it back on, you can see what the color correction is doing. So we'll leave it on and we're going to click on this button here because that will reset everything. So let's click reset. And you've got some manual tools here. So you can change the brightness. And I think the brightness is pretty good on this on this clip. So I'm going to leave it as its default value. But if your clip was a little bit too dark, you could increase the, the brightness to, to improve the, the visuals. Next thing we'll look at is contrast, and I always like to move the contrast up a little bit, say to around, let's say around 70, so you, all of these like darker shades will be darker, and then you know, you're going to get some good contrast between the lights and darks, so that's a good option to do, and you'll see that in like the hair as well, you can see how the hair has got more like darker shadows in it. Um, so I think around 60 will be good, around 60 sort of value, 60, 70. You've got the gamma here, and this will increase the brightness of uh, the overall image, right? So we'll increase this a little bit, maybe around 20, not too much, something around here. You could well experiment to see what, what do you like, what's good for you. And remember, you can turn the track on and off, so you can see the difference between them, uh, like this, right? And then we've got the HDR gamma, so this is quite good, this tool. This tool will allow us to bring back some of the detail in the background here, can you see? So if it's off, um, like a lot of the detail in the in the trees and stuff, you don't really see that stuff. But as we start to bring this up, we're going to see a lot more of that detail come back into uh, the content. So I think around 40 is pretty good. And you've got a blur effect here. So this one you need to really experiment with um, to see what looks good. But I reckon around here and you can see how it's affecting the image so like this is quite washed out now when it's set to a very low value the background especially but as we increase this we'll see more detail appear in the image and in the hair as well so i'm really focusing more on the figure at the foreground rather than the background if things are blurred out in the background you typically see that in video content anyway but it's this foreground here like with the hair and the woman that's the thing that's the object that we're trying to um you know emphasize more so I'm going to set this to around 40 sort of value, and I think that's going to be pretty good, the sort of, sort of 40 sort of value. Now we can turn this on and off again, and we can see the difference between the original clip and now the one that we've color corrected or made an enha enhancements to. We can move over to this um, color tab here, and then you've got saturation at the top here, and that's going to bring some more color into the image. So you want to be a bit careful with this. <clears throat> um, you know... It's, it's entirely up to you. You can bump it all the way up to the top. At the end of the day, color correction is down to your perception, what you want that clip to look like, right? So um, if you were to take this shot, maybe you took two different shots on two different cameras or one during you know, the day and then another one later in the day where the light was not so uh, bright, then you can use the color corrections to try and get those two clips looking similar. This is the objective, right? Um, of this exercise you can just grayscale it if you wanted to grayscale it as well so we're just going to give a little bit of uh, saturation maybe about 10 i want it to be too much and the white balance is when you're taking the video content if the like you know the sky was supposed to be you know, quite clear and it's not so clear maybe it's got like a tinge to it or something wrong with it then you can use white balance and um, you can select a piece of content so you can click here white point select something and then that will just make sure everything is uh, as a reference point for the white balance yeah 
Then you've got the, the hue here. So you can auto color. So when you click that, it's going to do its best. Uh, Movie Edit Pro is going to pick what it considers to be the best option. So when you turn this off and on, um, you know, it's going to try and make it look as natural as possible. You can turn auto color off and then you can go and manipulate the colors so you can add a bit more green into it, add some blue. Uh, you know, and this is the overall image as well. Don't go too extreme or you end up with something like the Matrix, right? With a lot of green in it. But it's up to you. Um, I think this looks like a quite a nice sunny day. So I think we'll add a little bit of sort of uh, maybe yellow, sort of yellow, bright yellow. Just a, just a tiny amount. You can always turn it off and on to see how is that affecting uh, the overall picture of the video. All right. So that's kind of your basic sort of options in color grading. There are some other options in here that we can go through later. But I just wanted to give you a, a, quite a simple tutorial um, showing you how to use the, the color correction. And you, remember, you can always use the timeline here to, to, to change those values as you scrub through the video content. You can add marking and mark out points to um, change the white balance or the HDR, the gamma, whatever you want to change. Uh, you can add keyframes in here to do that. So let's just turn, um, let's just go to a point in the video clip. Let's say around here and we can turn it off. So this is the original and then this is the one that we've color corrected to what we like. Remember, it's what you like. At the end of the day, it's your video content. So you choose to uh, color correct it the way that you like it, right? Something like this. Okay, there is one other tool here called color correction. I'll go through this one in a bit more detail, uh, maybe in the next tutorial, because this one takes a little bit more time to explain. But for now, you can just focus on these two elements and you should get some pretty good um, color grading in your content using these two simple tools. Okay, so let's go ahead and save our work. Let's go to file, save project as. We'll go to my desktop and we're looking at color grading today, right? It's so color grading here. Okay, let's save this work and we can close our Movie Edit Pro. Don't forget to uh, check out my YouTube channel. I'm making quite a lot of tutorials on Movie Edit Pro 2022. You can also access over 750 other video tutorials on a wide range of subjects. It's just not movie, you know, video editing. You've got graphic design, some web development, e-commerce. You've got quite a lot of different things um, you can find on my YouTube channel with a diverse range of uh, tutorials. Okay. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.